I'm sorry. I'm sorry about everything. I wish I could just put on the snow. It's all falling apart here. I can't believe what's happening. This looks promising. It's strange. It's a little thing. So, welcome to Dead Space. Uh, this is a 2008 release by Visceral Games and was created by the minds of Glenn Schofield and Michael Condry. It was infamous for its implementation of gore features in all aspects of the game. I won't spoil. This is taking so long. Oh, don't you worry. We've still got a job to do. It's going to kick right off, and it's not going to stop. I hate cutscenes. I'll play no watch. I don't ever know where I'm going. We'll grab that. That's the thing. So this is the display. I love the hood setting in this game. I... It's very organic. Uh, no, none of the menus appear unless they're like a hologram that Isaac Clark can see. Oh good, so you have no idea if you're dying. Oh no, that's the fun part. See that green fluid thing on your back? Those are your vital signs. We got a glowy thing. It's nice that you recognize the glowy things. This is uh, still the opening cutscene, technically. I like how he looks at it, too. Like he stares at the menu pieces. Like, Go through the door. Left. Nope. That's not your left. That's your left. I mean, it's my right. It's Isaac's left. Who is you right now? Oh. This looks promising. Of course There's it does. blood trail everywhere. Okay, I just went in there, but I can't go anywhere. You're not supposed to. Go in there. There's a little panel to activate. Now, it does have a track where you're going function. If you... Don't hit that yet. Uh, click your right joystick down. That. So if you hold that down he will see like lines on the floor that show him where he's supposed to go what the hell was that? so this is like a perfect game for you because it's literally going to tell you where to go oh god oh run for it run you do not have weapons um lag you're, you're okay. Just keep going. Don't stop. You gotta go through the door. Ah. Close it. Close it. Close it. Ah. <laughs> so, that's Welcome to Dead Space from Visceral Games. If you uh, click down on the thing now... Now it's telling you where you gotta go. So, this is survival horror. Not a genre you're really familiar with and play a whole lot. The most you can do to save ammo, you should do that. Um, pulling the right trigger right now will allow you to punch. And I believe the right bumper is stump. Yeah. Um, anytime you see glowing boxes with white lights, you can open them. So now we're going to familiarize you with a little bit of the rest of the game here. If you hit back, that button. Welcome to your map. So you only have those first ten slots available right now. Okay. Inventory management is going to be important, and conserving your ammo. 
Now you can smash those boxes by stomping on them, by the way. Just give it a smush. So now you gotta go through that door. It's still locked. Mm-hmm. There's a big glowing thing in the video game. There you go. Now we're getting somewhere. Off like a herd of turtles. Limbs. Limbs. Oh, wow, look at you. Just right into it. Oh. <laughs> well, we invited you to the right game. If you don't take care of bodies properly, you can expect to see them again. Oh, good. Yep. That should be an audio log. Cool. Everybody, listen up. They used the vent. That's how they're getting around the ship. Stay away from down. Get back. Get back. More promising news. Yep. Isaac. Hey. Our buddies found us. Are you okay? Aren't they wonderful? That guy and her. That we have no investment in whatsoever. Yeah, they didn't do a whole lot of introduction to them. But I promise as the game continues, it, that you'll get a, a type of investment with each of them. So now we have to fix the tram station because it's broken. And you are Isaac Clark, the engineer. Ah, get him! Trigger! She's like stomping on his ankle. <laughs> oh god! Ah! A button! Ah, get him off! Oh god. I don't know if that's taken care of enough, <laughs> but uh, I stomped on him. Oh, sure. Mutilate random dudes. That guy may have a wife who wanted the body returned. Well, she's not getting it. No. You don't have a trash bag? She could still have it. Nope. Some engineer. I never said I was a humanitarian. Cover humanitarian. <laughs> Space whales. <laughs> this is not a super tutorial. As a survival horror game goes, it's really just trying to leave you on your own. Oh crap. Be careful, because they're gonna start coming at you in twos. Or more. Get them off! Get them off! Get them off! Oh god! Not have a head now. I got something on my shoe. <laughs> Listen up, car eight is trashed. We managed to get it back to the repair depot, but now the auto loader is fried. I need a stasis module brought down here now. If we don't get this piece of shit off the tracks, it's gonna jam up the whole system. Probe number two. Oh, that didn't work. Why didn't it work? The, the audio diary just told you. I wasn't you listening. Gotta, gotta use the stasis module. I don't even know what that is. The state, the time stop thingy. Stasis. So you need to use the center console here. While the clamps are engaged. So aim your gun at it. No, you need to hit the thing. The physical arm. There we go. Now run your way up there. There you go. Yeah. I did it. When you get the computer online, you'll be able to call the tram from the control room. Faster the better. I can hear something crawling around out there. Oh, hello. 
Nice. Ooh, all right, your first power node. Yay. Trouble is, is that they have different AIs that do different things. Some of them will run and lure you out. Some of them will... No, 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 you want to go in here. You... That's not where the thing that is. That doesn't says. matter. You the... said it tells me where to go. It does not mean that's the only place to go. And it's a horror game. So there's bound to be something useful probably sitting in a toilet bowl. Look at that. Yeah, you want to explore a little bit because you want to get those power nodes that you just found. There's like upgrade stations later. You'll be able to upgrade your actual suit and your guns. Another fun idea they used is that you don't actually have a gun right now. Most of the things you use throughout the game aren't technically weapons. You have a plasma cutter. This is supposed to be for, like, maintenance. Oh, shit. Two on one. Look out. I would not use the punchies method with two of them at a time. Nicely done. Way to show me... Um, the AI will tell them to just sneak up behind you from time to time, too. Rather than just pop out in front and go, Bleh! Bleh, bleh, bleh. I do not go, bleh, bleh, bleh. Uh, underrated Adam Sandler. That's not a thing that exists anymore. There's just a leg. So remember, it'll give you a way to go, and if there's other ways to go, try exploring them from time to time. You, you get more stuff out of it. You already broke that. Oh. Yes, as it turns out, this parasite takes over a host. But once the host becomes useless, the parasite it's becomes Kendra. inactive within. Like the the so there if it doesn't have enough material to, day. like, have limbs and stab you, it, it just gives up. What quitters? Oh, God. There are a lot of them. Ah! Flee! I don't sprint that quickly. No, but you sprint. Ish. Turn and shoot. Oh, crap. He jumped out of the wall behind you. Ah! Ah, a button! A button! Ah, that's my skin. Oh, God. Run! Shoot! Shoot! Don't, I, I can't do both at the same time. You can walk backward. Get a path. Shoot the bread thing. The barrel. Boom! Alright, run. Run. Don't run. Blah! Run. Oh, you're dead. Oh, you are so dead. Up. Uh, up. Uh, 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 oh. Da dang. So your head got chewed off. Ah! Uh. Oh, you are you are doomed. <laughs> Why do you keep clicking? Oh! <laughs> well, so that happened. I think. You're uh, half the man you used to be there. Really? I might be dead. <laughs> okay, uh, helpful tip. If you hit the right bumper while you're aiming, you'll actually change angle of fire. The plasma cutter can rotate I to a horizontal. I really don't know why. Stop clicking. This is not Call of Duty. <laughs> okay, two mediums. Just, just fill it up. Top it off. <laughs> there, there you go. Now, now you can take a few more fails to the neck. Uh, yeah! Trigger! You do not do anything violent with any other button. You know, eventually, that'll get through my head. And then we're going to go to a game that it doesn't work that way. Ow. Turn, 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 turn. Start blowing them away. 
blow his legs off. Blow I'm limbs. trying. Nice. Great. Smack him. He's the only one standing. Come here. Oh! <laughs> I'm half the man I used to be. When are you going to learn that they don't... Never! That there's not less of them. Oh, God. Stop clicking. <laughs> trigger, trigger, trigger. Nope, back up, back up. He's, he's baiting you. Keep getting him. Keep getting him. Keep getting him. Don't let him back up. This guy sucks oh, at keep punching. Keep He's an engineer, not a boxer. You're not even a soldier. So there's one down there, and there's one to your left. The one to your left is the one coming for you right now. Get that leg off. Run past him. Oh, God. You... You, it's easier to stomp them on the ground and maybe not stay between them. Oh! Well, you're just an ass now. Rotate your gun. What? The bumper. Seriously? Okay, they're both down. Now stomp them to pieces. There you go. Stomp them. Stomp them. Make soup mix of them. Get him! Get him! Shoost him! Now you're about to get three. Oh god! There's another one coming through the window and it. But get him who's coming at you. He's not down. He's, he's just legless. Call him Orlando Bloom, because he's legless. All right, now he's down. Okay, heal up. I think he got it. Finally! Ooh. This isn't gonna be the first time. Although you'll get used to it. You'll stop clicking. <laughs> you'll stop navigating when you wanna punch things. I keep doing that instead of stop. Don't let your kids be casual gamers. This is what happens to them. This is what they're like. This is what they become. Oh shit! Dog on! Nice! Nice! It did not know what to do with that and just gave it to you. The game tossed a coin and it came up, Lily. Instant replay. Make it happen. Nice. Okay, so, moving on. Uh, back down the elevator, and... If I was... So we came up here for, like, reason. You came up here to activate something. The thing you hit at the end of the hall. You turned a thing on. Hello. Coming in hot. Stop clicking. Because that should be open. So head back up the elevator real quick. It's back the other way. Because I, I could swear you, you had to turn off the lockdown in the room. It's just a guide. It's not supposed to be giving you all the answers. Yeah, it's supposed to tell me where I'm supposed to go. It is telling you where you're supposed to go. But something in this room is keeping that from happening. Uh, just try hitting A on it. Just try to open it anyway. It says it's locked. Yeah, okay. I see that. Oh, look at that. It unlocked. So, up in the elevator was a key card. Because so you're not doing all that bad. And you have two nodes, so you could upgrade capacity too. 
So each of those dots in the system there have to be filled with a node. So you can't reach HP until you have two more nodes. You really don't really need more than the second one. Okay. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, God. He has, oh. like, crotch hands. Yeah. Um, these creatures are called necromorphs, and uh, basically there's a kind of parasite kind of curse that goes through the body and mutates it. So... Most of the flesh and bone have been have been mulled really over. Stuck on my shoes. <laughs> Scrape them off. So basically, it like molded their bones. They got like, and that's just where they tend to stick out of the like Buffalo Bill flesh trench coat they tend to make. Ew. I mean, I don't know what else you'd call it. Not a Buffalo oh, shit. Bill flesh trench. I mean, that's what it is. Those are the dude's arms there. Like his regular ass arms. Oh, God. Oh, shit. No! Oh, get him. I love how you hit the wrong button for the wrong command that you then realize you don't need. Like, you click to stomp and realize that you shouldn't be stomping and then punch him. Your brain works in very mysterious ways. <laughs> I don't know if that's what I'd call it, but... Moving right along here. Follow your nav, laser. Ship wide tram system reinitialized. All trams now operational. Tram arriving at flight deck station. Quarantine lifted. Alright, we're on board and heading to the bridge. Good work. I mean, if you're going into space, don't you think they might teach you some basic self-defense? No. It'd be like saying, you're going to Toronto, you'd think you'd know some basic self-defense. So, so picture, if you will, you work for a company that does mining. You're an engineer. Humanity has been alone in the universe since we actually started colonizing it. And we had no reason to think we would find necromorphing space demons. I mean, you can still defend yourself with a punch from humans. Like, you had soldiers all around you, and they were all dead in an instant. Which is hilarious, because you are not nearly as fragile as anyone else. <laughs> the violin strummed. Something's here. The violin of doom. Oh, oh yeah! Now we're gonna run into this. They're gonna start actually using the environment. It's like Muhammad Ali fighting a toddler. A razor sharp toddler. I think I'm a toddler. A toddler could win. I mean, I guess he could be dead. Ali being dead. Oh no, that means he could be a zombie monster. Muhammad Ali zombie monster. Make that movie, Hollywood. As he just stalks around and box anyone, punches out all of his detractors. No <laughs> Muhammad Ali was overrated. And then just zombie Ali punches their head off. Timestamp on the save says it's almost been an hour, so we're on track. I mean, he's got the stomp kick down. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's an engineer. He's probably a master at stomping out insects. Like, do it twice. Yeah, when you bring it back, maybe he'll... Yeah, there we go. He'll bring it from the hip. Why? I mean, it's a heavy enough tool. It's so that's the constraint of horror games, though. Melee cannot be good enough that you can only need it. Ah! Yeah, yeah, turn around. It's on the wall. Keep it. Oh. You know what? Yeah, they get worse. They're not all just man with the mantis pincers. 
They cannot see you gesturing like that. They can see it in their uh, brain vision. Mind's eye. I was thinking of the word thoughts. Uh, the other thing I should have mentioned before is you can use that stasis ability on enemies. Oh shit! Run! Run! Get out of the, get out of the thing! Get out the shit! Nope, nope, you're the wrong way! Oh my god! Keep going! Oh shit! Okay, so now the party's coming to you. Because your shuttle exploded. Yeah, they're crawling up the walls for you. If it's not moving, don't worry about it. That's horrible advice for the second game. But they don't have the AI perfected yet. What happened to the shovel? That was our at home. Kendra. No, Hammond! Her voice acting is bad. Oh, no. <laughs> that was a ride off the ship, Mark. can't access them. Well, where's the captain? Here he is. Captain Benjamin Mathias. Location? Med lab. Status? Deceased. What? How? Isaac, I'm sending the tram back to your location. Get to the medical deck and find that rig as fast as you can. Her voice acting is just awful. Meanwhile, uh, Hammond there is played by Peter Menza who you will recognize as the uh, the pit leader from Spartacus, if I'm not mistaken. I hope that's right. He's a pit leader. Whatever the... He had a job, and he was in charge of the pit. My personal favorite role of him was he plays the really badass commander guy in Jason X when they go to space. And things get weird. Because Jason ends up made of nanites. And can like reconstitute himself at some point. Okay. Yeah. And then, at the end of the movie, you see... Jason's about to win. Yeah, Peter Menza grabs Jason and literally space rides him into Earth's atmosphere and they both burn up. Badass style. Uh, I think he does an excellent job in this. I call her Tona. I hope that it doesn't offend. We made it. Yay! We got to the tram. So that's our first episode. Thank you, any and all viewers, for joining us here at the Apocryphal. I've been Leon, and this has been Lily. Failing. Yeah. We're not recording professionals in any regard. I know how to talk. Anyone who knows me will tell you that. So what do you think of Dead Space so far? Um, well, if I could quit clicking. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Bye.